Meteorologist Steve Sosna has been tracking the last bits of Lee. Steve, what can you tell us? Yeah, so it made landfall, so it will not get any stronger. And in fact, the storm system will become more of a non story for almost everybody, including Nova Scotia. Uh, but they are still taking the brunt of it at this hour. Our surf, though, at the Jersey Shore, the Delaware beaches, the Maryland beaches, which has been just so churned up, will start to relax as well here over the next couple of days. There is a look at Lee, big pinwheel, but as you can see, it's kind of lopsided. All the rain on the western end of Lee, very little to any rain on the eastern side of the system, which is usually the stronger side. Uh, but despite that, this storm system, we're going to tuck this away to bed here, and no longer will we be using the name Lee for a long time. So that's certainly some good news. We have high pressure now centered over top of us, but that high pressure area will be sliding on to the east. And so that will allow our next weather system off to the west to move in here. And the arrival time, probably late tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon. Hard to believe after that blue sky. Look behind me. You can barely see a cloud in the sky. Later on tonight, some of those high clouds will be moving in, and then by tomorrow, those clouds lower, thicken, and some afternoon showers are certainly likely tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Some of those showers will linger early into your Monday morning, so getting the kids ready for the bus stop as you head off to work. A couple showers, not an issue as you're going home from work on Monday, and then another winning stretch of weather, which is not uncommon for September, usually one of our nicest weather months. So 58 degrees tonight, mainly clear, especially early tonight, and then another cool Cool night with temperatures down into the 50s. Tomorrow, 76 degrees, so we're not quite as warm tomorrow, and that is due to the increasing clouds and also the chance of some rain here developing as early as tomorrow afternoon. That's our best shot of rain here in the next seven days. We've really kind of bumped this chance up over the last few days as the system has definitely shown more potential. Lingers around into early Monday morning, and then it's out of here by Tuesday and Wednesday. Orioles game, of course, happening here tomorrow afternoon. I'd kind of start planning in your head for a postponement. I mean, maybe they try to get this in, but it's going to be tough here. This rain looks pretty persistent. I don't see many gaps in it. Uh, so just keep that in the back of your mind here. Don't be surprised if they end up having to postpone that game. 76 degrees here on your Sunday in the Inner Harbor, 73 Catonsville, 72 Cockeysville, 76 in Severn. In terms of your rain chances, tomorrow you can see dry early on. So if you want to get that morning run in, good. Morning services look good. And then brunch time outside looks bad. So you want to be inside here for brunch tomorrow afternoon. As you can see, the hour by hour forecast, this is lunchtime. This model a little bit slower than some of our other models that really want to bring that rain in late morning through the afternoon hours. And then it looks like rainy conditions here throughout tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. By the way, the Ravens will be dealing with some showers too in Cincinnati tomorrow for that game. 80 on Tuesday, 81 on Wednesday, pure perfection. And then as we head late in the week, nice weather continues here. Upper 70s and lower 80s. We're on a roll. We'll be right back.